Join me today for this short and snappy workout. It's just under 15 minutes and is perfect for toning your abs and your core. In this workout, we'll be doing curl ups with knee folds, the classic Pilates 100, Russian twists and lots of planks. Get ready to fire up your core in this session. Get your mat ready and let's get started. We're going to work your core really hard today. Let's start with a quick warm up. Lie on your back. Have your feet hip distance apart and parallel. Just do a few tucks of your pelvis and make sure you're neutral in your spine and pelvis. Then clasp your hands behind your head. Make sure your arms are not too wide. You're also not hugging your head. Your elbows are in peripheral vision. Then take an inhale and as you exhale, start to curl up. Inhale at the top, exhale, bring your head down. When you curl up, try to come up as high as you can and just make sure you're looking towards the edge of your mat if possible. Make sure you're using your core though, not your neck. Let's go again, three more. On your last one, you're gonna stay in your curl up. And then from here, you're gonna bring your arms by your sides, then return your hands behind your head. Keep going and do this 10 times. Inhale, arms by your sides, exhale, hands behind your head. The aim is to make sure you're keeping your curl up and you're using your core to do so. Do four more. Two more. And last one, inhale. Lovely, then from here, keep your arms by your sides and do 10 double knee folds. As you inhale, lift your legs up one at a time, exhale, lower. You can have the option of bringing your hands behind your head if you want to, or you can just keep your arms by your sides. Do five more. Well done, last one, inhale. Exhale, lower your legs down one at a time and then just bring your head down to your mat. Well done, just look to your left and your right if you need to, then double knee fold, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Then from here, curl up, extend your legs, bring your arms by your sides and go into your hundreds. You inhale for five arm beats, exhale for five until you get to a hundred. Try your best to keep your head nice and still, keep your legs together, toes pointed. You can have your legs as low as you feel comfortable taking them. Well done, make sure you're using your core. Do your last 10, inhale two, three, four, five, exhale two, three, four, and five. Well done, bend your legs in, bring your head down, knees into chest, and gently rock from side to side. Then from here, stretch your legs out and your arms. Come into a quick stretch, flare those ribs a little bit. Then from here, reach your arms up to the ceiling, inhale, as you exhale, roll up to sit in, touch your toes. Inhale, exhale, roll back down to the floor. Arms go backwards. And again, reach your arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, roll up. Inhale at the top, exhale, return back down. Let's do three more of these. Make sure you're using your core to roll up and come down. Really scoop your tummy in on your way down. Two more. Lovely, last one, roll up to sit in. Round your back, touch your toes. 
and then slowly bring yourselves back down to your start position. With your head down, legs and arms stretched out. We're going to come into a teaser from here. So as you inhale, reach your arms up to the ceiling, then exhale, bring yourselves up into a teaser. You lift your core and your legs up at the same time if you can. Inhale at the top, exhale, return back to your start position. Do five in total. This is a really tough exercise, so don't worry if you struggle with this one. It takes a long time to practice being able to do the teaser. Let's go again, three more. Make sure you're balanced on those sitting bones. Inhale, exhale, come back down. And again. Well done, on your last one, we're gonna come up into that teaser and just try to hold our teaser, if you feel like you can, just for a few seconds. For four, three, two, one. Well done, lower your feet down, come up to sit in, bring your arms by your sides for a second, then bring yourselves into a seated position, feet on the floor, clasp your hands together, roll back, scoop your tummy in, and then do a waist twist. Rotate to one side, come to the center. Rotate to the other side, come to the center, inhale. As you exhale, roll forwards, restack your spine. And we go again, come into a C curve, scoop your tummy in and roll back. Waist twist from side to side, come to the middle, roll forwards and restack. Keep going. And again, C curve, scoop your tummy and roll back, waist twist, other side waist twist, then roll forwards and sit nice and tall. We're going to do this one more time, but this time you're staining your roll back and you're going to waist twist 10 times, alternate sides. Remember to keep your tummy pulled in, try to bring your belly button in towards your spine. That's lovely, do your last one. Then go again, and this time go really fast. 10 times. Do your last two. Come to the center, lift your feet up, and go again. Waist twist 10 times as fast as you can. Well done, do your last two. Come to the center, lower your feet down, then roll forwards and restack. Well done. You definitely must have felt the burn there. Just come into a quick stretch. Grab your toes, reach over. Just get a nice stretch in your lower back. Inhale, exhale, restack your spine. Okay, from here, we're going to do an exercise called the side twist. You're going to sit on your left hip with your feet on the floor and your right foot crossed over your left. Your right arm is stretched out in front of you with your palm facing forwards. As you inhale, lift your hips into a plank, reaching your arm overhead and straightening your legs. Exhale, return to your start position. Do 10 of these in total. Maybe watch me for the first couple and then give it a go. This is a challenging exercise. It's definitely on the advanced side. So don't worry if you're struggling with this one today. Let's go for five more. Well done, last two, inhale. Reach over, straighten those legs, exhale, return. On your last one, if you can, you're gonna stay there in that side bend and just hold for a few seconds. For four, three, two, one, and come down. Well done. From here, come down into your elbow, straighten your legs, then clasp your hands 
behind your head. You're going to come up into a plank and then we're going to do a little side crunch. Bring your knee to elbow and then straighten your leg. Do this 10 times. Well done, five more. Three, two, and last one. Then hold your side plank for a few seconds. For four, three, two, and one. Well done, relax. Oh, that was tough. We need to do the other side. So just before you come to the other side, shrug your shoulders forwards and backwards, circle your wrists. That was really challenging for your upper body as well as your core. Sit on your right hip with your left foot crossed over your right. Your left arm is in front of you, palm facing forwards. As you inhale, straighten those legs, reach your arm overhead, lift your hips up, exhale lower. Do 10 in total. Well done, go for five more. You're nearly there, last two, inhale, exhale, and then last one, you're gonna come up into that side twist and hold. For four, three, two, one. Well done, come back down. Nice work. Okay, come down onto your elbow, straighten those legs, clasp your other hand behind your head, and then we're going to do those side crunches. So you bring your knee to elbow, and then you extend again. Let's go for 10. Well done, five more, three, two, and one. Nice work, then slowly come down. That was super tough, so well done, but you really, really worked those obliques and the rest of your core worked really hard there. Come into a rest position, sit on your heels, rest your forehead on your mat, and just enjoy this stretch. Your upper body gets a really nice stretch here. Take an inhale, exhale, restack your spine. Then come onto all fours, tuck your toes under, come up into a downward dog. Then start walking on the spot. For four, three, two, and one. Lower your heels down, walk your hands towards your feet, grab your toes, just gently rock forwards and backwards. Then from here, inhale, exhale, slowly restack your spine. Come up bone by bone, your neck and head comes up last. And you are finished. Well done. That was the ultimate core and fat burning abs workout. You did so well. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.